You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Busley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to go ahead and unbox the latest member of the Nintendo handheld family, the Nintendo, sorry, the new Nintendo 2DS XL. What they did is they took, oh, I like this, for example, the top part looks like the Switch boxes where it's red on the top and says Nintendo. You can't tell what's actually under it. So it could be like a Switch accessory for all we care, or no. Anyways, let's see, new Nintendo 3D, 2DS XL. Over here, 82% larger XL cell screens compared to the Nintendo 2DS system. C-Stick for enhanced controls. New ergonomic folding design. And Amiibo and NFC support built into it. The power of two. The new Nintendo 2DS XL. That's such a long name. Brings you all the power of the new Nintendo 3DS in a streamlined and affordable package with a larger screen and um, compact folding design, the new Nintendo 2DS XL can play any games from the Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, or new Nintendo 3DS in 2D. Enhance your gaming experience with the added C-Stick control and Amiibo support via the built-in NFC Reader Writer. Here's the back of it, and there's the bottom of it. There's the front of it. It is just a nice, nice box. Here's the sides. We'll get to that in just a moment. This, it has um, an NFC thing, so it's definitely compatible with um, practically the hundred or so of Amiibo that are available currently. So pretty much like these types of things will work with it, like the Amiibo. Um, functionality may differ from game to game. Anyhow, let's put that to the side. What this does, the new Nintendo 2DS XL, I know that's a weird name, is it takes the basic idea of the 2DS, which is essentially just a 3DS without 3D and with a new type of design, and then enhances it with the power of the new 3DS XL, or the new 3DS. What they did is they took essentially this design and this and put it together. They just removed the 3DS stuff from it. Like the 3D capability. Unlike the, uh, the 2DS which is just one large screen with a plastic divider, the new 2DS XL appears to have two separate screens making it closer to the to the new 3DS XL. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this puppy up. Doot doot doot. Ah. First things first, there is the obligatory um, AC adapter that comes with it. Some models did not come with AC adapters, but this thanks to this I now have like well since from the original DSi all the way up to the new 2DS XL, they've used the same adapter. So I have, I've got close to about, I've got like 10 of these around here. So let's just go ahead and put that to the side. Here's the side of the box. And uh, that is it for the inside of the box. That is it. Just uh, the unit. I have a ton of these AR cards. They came with um, every 3DS line of product. Came with AR cards. The same AR cards that go with everything. Of course, there's the instructions, a quick start guide for uh, teaching you how to plug it in and all that. Let's put that to the side. Okay, and then of course the new 2DS itself, which we're going to get into in just a moment. We'll put all that stuff to the side. Because this, this is the main event right here. Ooh. It's got ridges. Can you hear that? 
Yeah. There's a weird little hinge. There's the extra button Z R Z L R L and then the backing for it which you can remove via the screws here and then that just I guess pops off and then you have a stylus over here a power button here here you've got a little uh, tray similar to the Nintendo Switch that you pull out and it's got a micro SD card and then a slot for DS 3DS and new 3DS and DSi games and huh over here we have the volume let's move it a little from the side here it's kind of a matte with a shiny um, interior and then this part here is also matte nothing on the sides lots of clean lines let's actually go ahead ooh this is the inside part of it it looks a little bit like an iPhone on the top Heh. and then there's a start select button B A X Y this is a little camera stick nub extra camera the uh, little microphones right here let's uh... Let's go ahead and turn this puppy on. Now oh, there's a little bit of dust right here. Hmm. Let me get that bit of dust. Right here. There we go. Man, already. Already fingerprints and stuff. But here's the power button. The power button is actually under the uh, system right here. We're going to go ahead and power it on. power it on. Oh wait, that's not a power button, that's a home button. Here's the power button. Derp. <laughs> ah, I hate fingerprints on the screen. But yeah, we're going to power this on. Turn up the volume. It says new 2DS. Hmm. That appears to be a, oh, let me uh, grab that stylus, which has a little ridge on it. Next, next, next. Set the date and time. Today is July 29th, 2017. And the time is 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 53. We'll put it 54. Date and time have been saved. Okay, profile. Since this is kind of like, we're going to call this uh, Aquamarine. That's what we're going to nickname this because of its sweet color. Birthday, that's 1-1. One, one. Region, United States. By the way, the region um, that you had to put into there, and then state, the great state of Colorado. Okay, that profile's been saved. It comes with a slight charge, so three of those. Internet settings. Next, next, accept. But let's wait until later because we want to know what type of firmware is on this system. And do not set up the parental controls. Um, we can do a system transfer, but we're not going to do that yet. Okay, system has been configured and let's go ahead and uh, it is opening up the home menu oh my goodness that's actually fantastic I, I really like the style of this not very matte but we're gonna compare the um, it appears to be like a TN screen as far as we can tell there aren't any uh, new 2DS XLs that came with a uh, with an IPS screen however we are going to compare them to previous screens. Let's go to this. Theme management creation. Do not remove the micro SD card. And we're going to put it on blue. Move that that way. And we're going to change that screen brightness to a 5. Turn the power saving mode off. Okay, this particular device 
can work with it will work with older DS games it'll work with DSi games like these ones let's see like um, that one there we go oh by the way unless your unless your device or your game starts with NTR it's very likely region locked you'll have to look at those um, this is it'll work with DS games DSi enhanced games DSi only games Nintendo 3DS games Nintendo 3DS enhanced games you know new Nintendo 3DS enhanced games and new Nintendo 3DS games um, as far as new Nintendo 3DS games go there are currently only two in North America and that would be Xenoblade Chronicles and Runbow Pocket and uh, whew, yeah they're pretty neat but let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and compare this screen which we're taking a look at it it's nice when you look at it then you move it to right it is obviously a TN screen but let's compare this TN screen to other screens actually for the sake of um, checking this out let's see the things that will not work on the new 2DS um, obviously any D, any 3DS, DSi, DSi only, or new 3DS only game that is from a different region, of course, and of course, uh, Switch games. Switch games, of course, will not work in it, and that's what happens. You put them in there, see, they don't, nothing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Huh. There we go. I'm, I'm hiding half, half, uh, has been heroes from everyone. No. Let me go ahead and put then in just uh, this. There we go. This is actually the uh, new the the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D demo. But yeah, we get we picked a blue we picked a blue um, background for this because we're going to compare it to the blue backgrounds or rather the screen quality on other systems. Oh. Before you go, before we go, um, the new Nintendo 3. Uh, before we go further into this, the new Nintendo 3DS includes, of course, a new stylus. These are the styluses for the previous XL units. Here are the previous XL units and their styluses: um, the DSi XL, the 3DS XL, the new 3DS XL, and the new 2DS XL fairly short stylus but it's actually a larger st uh, no it's still shorter that stylus is actually quite a bit shorter than even the stylus that comes with the new 3DS it's a bit fatter but yeah still oh um if you're wondering what TN screen is this is a new Nintendo 3DS with a TN screen and this is a new Nintendo 3DS with a with an IPS screen. When you move it to right, you'll note that one retains its colors without washing out. IPS, this is a dual IPS new 3DS system. Quite frankly, the best screen quality you're going to get on the units. This new 3DS over here has a top IPS screen and a bottom TN screen. The original um, Nintendo New 3DS had sorry the new the Nintendo 2DS had a single TN screen with a little plastic divider. It's actually just one screen under there. You can even see the ridges that they covered up with. Yeah, but uh, yeah. In comparison to the uh, here is the new 2DS XL compared to the original 2DS. As you can see, the new 2DS XL actually does have a better quality screen than the original 2DS, as well as being slightly larger. Let's go ahead and compare it to... This is a new 2DS XL versus a, 3D, a 3DS XL. Again, not too bad. 
here is the DSi XL versus the 2DS XL. Keep in mind that when they when they add when they announced the two, the DSi XL, Nintendo actually made it a point to emphasize that the 2DS the DSi XL had an expanded range of um, visibility. And of course, the one to the right, the new 3DS XL, has a an IPS top screen and a TN bottom screen. And the 2DS has dual t dual TN screens. See there, you can see a little bit of that. Oops, accidentally uh, accidentally opened the game or something. Oh no, let's get back from here. Close out of that. I didn't have any software in there. But yeah, this is the new. Let's actually go ahead and compare all of these to each other in terms of size and weight. Out of these, oh goodness, yeah, the uh, the two D the new two DS XL is the lightest of them. And uh, let's go ahead and compare them together. Yep, cat hair, of course. This, it the uh, new 2DS XL is actually the shortest of them. Let's look at the top. It's kind of got rounded edges. Again, also rounded. And let's look at the very front. And there you go. That's the uh, comparison between, well, the new 2DS XL and the the rest of it. I mean, seriously. This is we've been kind of fairly in depth with this, huh? Anyways, I do wish that the new Nintendo 2DS had a slightly longer stylus, but considering how much smaller in comparison in size to the previous XL units, it's understandable that it would have a slightly smaller thing. Now, I think I think it's kind of interesting that this is the first one to have a covered game card thing. I think that's something going forward that Nintendo will be continuing to put with their units. Oh, this is a new Nintendo 3DS XL and I've got a Monster Hunter Generations back backing to it. But yeah, it looks so different in comparison. When you're staring straight at it, the the screen is just fine, although it is a TN screen, so when you move a little bit to the left or to the right, it will wash out a bit. But since it doesn't display 3D, and you don't have to worry about the wa colors washing out and wrecking the 3D effect, that doesn't matter with this. Now, many games, or rather all games, are still compatible and usable with the Nintendo 2DS, you just won't be able to display them in 3D. Other than that, it has... Oh, oh my bad, I realized that I locked this into a demo. Actually, in order to uh, get out of the demo, you actually have to uh, close out the software. Because the demo that I've got in there, actually, when you turn it on, it disables the home button. But yeah, let me go ahead and uh, Oh good, this stylus here actually has a little little notch on it that allows you to make that makes it a little bit easier to open up this little slot where you put in games. Let's go ahead and grab a new 3DS only title, and that would be Xenoblade. Let's power that back on. Oh, this is the little indicator light for Street Pass stuff. Yeah, cleaning the screen. Anywho, let's go ahead. It says some stuff about using micro SD cards. Here is Xenoblade Chronicles. We're not atta attached to the internet currently. So, uh, 
it does of course is none of the updates ah man dust magnet the screen but it might just be that this lighting is just you know just the way this lighting is ah looks pretty good let's go into here come on uh, let's go to continue and let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna be in the ether mine and we're gonna show a little bit of what these do load complete loading still loading this actually uses that and it looks pretty good if you're looking for a cheap and reasonable uh, um, way to play all of the well pretty much all of the software available for the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo DS aside from anything that would be region locked this is your best bet however let's check it check something because people were asked who will be asking about this okay let's see what uh, firmware it launches with okay the Nintendo new 2DS XL launches with the version 11.4.0-37 universal firmware so there you go this is the new 2DS XL Ugh. the only thing I don't like about this is had this launched with dual IPS it would be replacing everything in my pockets but it's a much lighter incredibly light it's um, not glossy like the majority of these. It's actually a really nice matte. This right here is a fantastic workhorse. It's not going to replace the new 3DS in my bag. Well, this one, of course. But I might be tempted to move some stuff over from here because this is just a dual TN screen. This is just a dual TN screen on a larger format. It's kind of a. Uh, it's actually kind of nice. I like this. And I like the little ridge on that and the fact that it is a matte plastic instead of a shiny plastic. What do you think of the new 2DS XL? Do you have a 3DS or a new 3DS? Do you need to upgrade your systems? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that share button if you haven't already. Oh, and when you hit that little um, subscribe button, Make sure that you ring that little bell next to it so that you'll be notified whenever we have any brand new videos for Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.